Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of arts and crafts with our relative dating. So you should have received two things. You should have received um, a sheet of paper that looks like this. This is your welcome paper. It's got some instructions on it. And you also should have had another paper that has uh, followed the directions and assembled. So these are going to be your cutouts. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut these out. Now it's very important that you keep the columns together and you make sure that you um, indicate like that this side is up so you don't get them flipped around. So don't make a big pile out of them or it's going to make your job a whole lot harder come the end. I already um, just did this uh, assignment a second ago and if you don't keep your, th your four different strips separate and know which side is up, you're going to wind up having a hard time with this assignment. All right, so you're going to go ahead and cut these out. Now, I've got a slightly different one that I've already cut out. Um, you're going to take your instructions piece, you're going to flip it over onto the back. So here are my three strips. So mine only had three strips. And you can see that I've cut them into their three strips. And then where you have these, these unconformities, these swivel lines, you're going to cut them apart, cut them apart at these swivel lines as well. So now what we need to do is we need to arrange these into a geologic time scale. Now you'll notice that these don't all match up. So this one starts with the black checkerboard and this one starts with the gray. So what we need to do is we need to slide these around until we can get them to all kind of match up on the same time scale. So for example, I see that I've got this um, gray rock that has an X in it. So these two look like they kind of match up some. So I'll arrange those that way. And then this seems to match up with something over here and then these two match up as well. Alright, so these two are going to match up. And then what about this one? Alright, so this one seems to match up here. And then this piece, if I slide it, seems to go to about here. And that shows me just where these pieces are going to need to go. So that goes there and that goes there. Alright, so now what I've done is I've come up with my geologic time scale. So across these different layers, I've matched them up so that they all appear at the same time. Now you'll notice that there's some gaps, there's some blank spaces, that is normal. You are going to have gaps in the geologic record, these are called unconformities. So now once you've got them all arranged the way that you think they should go, I want you to call over your substitute, he has an answer key, he's going to tell you whether or not you're right. Once he's told you that you're right, what you're going to do is you're going to take a second, you're going to go ahead and tape these down. Um, you can either use tape or glue, whatever you have. If you don't have anything, go ahead and get with the sub, um, and the sub will be able to get you some materials either from my collection or from one of the other teachers. Now I'm just kind of rushing here so that we can get to the next part. Um, so once again, you're either just going to tape or glue these down, and... All right, there we go. That's that's good enough for my demo video. I want you guys to do a good job with it because uh, you're going to write your name on these. You're going to be turning these into me. So make sure that you type yours, you tape your glue yours down much neater than I do. Now, once you've finished with your um, taping activity, the next thing that you're going to be doing is that you are going to be answering some questions. So we have this question sheet. So the first part is just some definitions, and then here it's going to say um, create some key fossils. Draw a fossil symbol and the number of them from one youngest to oldest. So inside each of these layers I see that I have this jellyfish. So inside here I would go ahead and draw a jellyfish, and it seems like I also have these X fossils. So I draw the X fossils. And so here, since the X fossils are on top, these are going to be the youngest, and then these are going to be the oldest. Now on yours, you've got some different fossils. So you've got the bullseyes, the stars, X's, what looks like some kind of fan, and then some stars. So you're going to have some different notes than I am. All right, um, for the analysis piece, okay, it says uh, create a key for the sediments, draw the sediment pattern, and name the sediment to go with it. So um, there should also be uh, another sheet that you guys receive. This is going to be the key. Now you're not going to have all these different types of rocks and sediments on your um, file. So if we look here, I've got this checkerboard, so I've got limestone, so I would draw that and label it. And then this grayish dot one that looks like static, that would be uh, shale for me. So once again, you're going to have some different combinations of sediment. So in this section right here, you're going to draw what that looks like and you're going to label it. And then how many total layers are in this geologic column? So looking at mine, I've got one layer, two, three, 
four, five, and six. So in mine, I have six different layers going across all of the different columns. Okay, it says identify the oldest sediment layer and draw it here. So remember the oldest is going to be at the bottom. So looking at the bottom, I've got, oops, sorry if you couldn't see that before. Um, at the bottom, you see that I've got what looks like the corn piece. So I would say, all right, so I would draw my pictures of the corn and that is actually the symbol for nice. Okay, um, draw a fossil that is younger than that. Well, that's easy. Um, that's just any fossil inside here because anything's going to be younger than the oldest layer. So this jellyfish or this X. And then it says identify the youngest sediment layer. So the youngest is going to be on the top. So that's going to be these. And I think a second ago we said that was limestone. Yep, and on my key it says that this youngest one, the one at the top, is going to be limestone. And then the last thing it says, okay, a sample of sediment is discovered that has index fossil X in it. What sediment or fossils is this sediment older than, okay, younger than? So we want to compare it. So all of them, okay, so yours and mine is going to have an X somewhere inside it, okay? So my X looks kind of like this starburst. This is, this is your X. So for my X, what's older than it, what's younger than it? All right, so older than it is going to be everything below. So, for example, my jellyfish fossil. Okay, jellyfish don't really leave fossils, but we're going to pretend. So the jellyfish fossil down here is going to be older than it. And then younger than it, well, the only thing that's really younger than it is this uh, limestone. That's above it, and that's going to be it. Now, once you have done this, it's all taped and glued down. Once you have answered all the questions for this, you're going to make sure that your name is on both of them. So write your name up here and write your name up here. Once you've done that, you can bring it up to the front of the room. You're going to go ahead and staple it together and you're going to give it to the sub and leave it on my desk so I can check it when I get back. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions about the assignment, I will be on um, Zoom the whole day. So just drop in there if there's anything that you're not sure about or if you're having trouble. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, bye.